Hi guys, my name is Susie. I am back with another tutorial for Cheetah Beauty. Today I have my beautiful model Gogo, and this is the look that we are going to show you guys. Uh, the first thing you want to do to start off any hairstyle is to have a nice smooth blow dry. In order to do that, I use the C3 leave-in conditioner which we've already done for my model and you spray it all over their hair while it's damp and give it a nice smooth blow dry. We've already prepped her hair. So I'm going to add clip-on extensions. I'm going to section her hair from ear to ear and I'm going to add the clip-on extensions for more volume in the ponytail. I'm going to take a rat tail comb and I'm just going to section the hair right here in the middle. We're going to add the clip-ons right there and that's where our ponytail is kind of going to be positioned. I'm going to section this away. This is the hard lock hairspray from Cheetah Beauty. This is going to help the clip-on extensions to not slide down. I'm going to spray it at the root. You're going to take your teasing comb and you're going to just back comb that hair. So you kind of are making a cushion for the clip-on extensions to sit on. Open your clips and make sure the hair actually matches the color of her hair. And you're going to clip that right in. Get a nice middle part. I'm gonna leave some of her bangs out and it's gonna be nice and loose in the front. Section just the top crown area. That's where she's gonna have all the volume for the ponytail. Clip this away. We're not gonna need it right now. Now we're gonna tie her ponytail. I have an elastic band ready and it has two uh, bobby pins connected to the ends of it so the ponytail is gonna be really nice and tight. Leave the sides out. Grab the ponytail. Find the position of where you want the ponytail to sit. I think I want my ponytail to be right there. I'm gonna have her put her head a little bit back for me and we're gonna tie it. I'm gonna grab the soft control hairspray from Cheetah Beauty and this is a working hairspray so as I'm using this hairspray throughout the hairstyle I'm still gonna be able to brush through it and it's gonna give us a lot of shine and just like smoothness. Spray the baby hair, the ponytail, smooth it with my hand. I'm gonna have her lean her head up slightly back for me in order to have no bumps in her head when she puts her head back up it's actually gonna make the ponytail nice and tight by the nape area. So as she takes it back I'm gonna take my little bungee cord elastic band that I made. I'm gonna put the first bobby pin right there in the middle of the ponytail make sure it's nice and tight and start wrapping it around and with the second bobby pin just take it right underneath make it nice and tight you have the base of your ponytail all ready to go I'm gonna take that same working hairspray the soft control hairspray it's gonna allow me to use a curling iron over it I'm taking one inch sections of the hair I'm gonna spray the hair with the hairspray brush through it just with your hands I am using a one inch curling iron this is from Connor it's actually one of my favorite curling irons to use because it's so fast and easy I'm just gonna throw almost like beach waves in her hair so I'm going to make sure the ends are kind of going to stay straight. As I'm taking it down, it's just going to look nice and smooth and straight. We're not trying to make her hair curly. I'm just trying to wave it. So take a one inch section of her hair, take your curling iron. It can go in different directions. We just want this to be a very like effortless ponytail. As you guys can tell, the hairspray is very light. So as I'm using it, you're not really hearing that sizzling noise that some hairsprays would actually make as you put some sort of hot tool on the hair. So it's very gentle today. The hair and it's keeping her hair very soft and smooth so later we're gonna be able to brush through it and work through it I'm going to bring down the crown area over here and we're going to start by giving volume at the crown area before I bring this all the way back we're gonna give volume section by section I'm gonna take my rat tail comb the thinner the section the more the volume will actually hold I'm gonna position the hair up we're gonna take the hard lock hairspray from cheetah beauty this is what locks everything in so it's really not gonna come down if you're dancing jumping doing whatever that you're doing spray it at the root take your teasing comb and just go in halfway and tease it down position it up spray it at the root and tease it down and we're just gonna do that till we get to the front as you guys noticed I did leave the sides of her hair and her bangs out we're not gonna tease that and we're not gonna touch it right now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start waving the same way that we waved her ponytail and we're gonna do that for her crown area I'm gonna take my soft control hairspray from cheetah beauty and just Give it some big waves. It's 
So what I want to do now is, again, not touching the sides, not touching the bangs. I'm going to take my Merlot Oil Treatment from Cheetah Beauty. This is going to give the ends and the curls a very revived and fresh look. It's not going to make their hair look frizzy and it's not going to weigh down their hair. This is a very lightweight oil treatment that will just make the hair very smooth and shiny as we're working through it. So I'm going to shake it, spray it at a distance. I wish you guys were here to smell it. It smells amazing. It smells really good. It's like perfume for your hair. And just with my fingers, I'm just brushing through the waves. I usually like to take the very, very front section one more time, brush through the tees, make it look very smooth, and then lay that down on the hair. Again, taking my oil treatment. I'm smoothing it. As I'm starting to position her hair on top of the ponytail, I'm going to take, again, my soft control hairspray. This is the working hairspray, and I'm going to just clean away any of the flyaways before we pin this down. Don't be afraid to use as much of this hairspray as you need. It doesn't make the hairs crunchy and it's very easy to work with. So now that we've decided the position of where we're going to lay down the crown area into the ponytail, you want to take a U-shaped bobby pin and then you're just going to twist the hair just naturally. Get your U-shaped bobby pin and pin that down inside of the ponytail. That's going to hold our remaining hair. Twist this a little bit, give it a natural look. Take your U-shaped bobby pin and pin that down. We've connected the top crown area to the ponytail now. I'm gonna add some soft control hairspray. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna start styling the ponytail. Section by section, I'm gonna tease the root of the ponytail to give volume to it. Last piece, I'm gonna spray it at the root, push it back, and I'm gonna drop the ponytail. You guys can see the volume that we're gonna get with that. And just with my fingers, again, I'm gonna top it with the Marilla Oil Treatment because this helps the hair to look smooth while I'm opening up her curls. And you wanna just brush out the top layer of the tees where we just gave all that volume so you don't actually see the tees. That's just gonna stay underneath the ponytail that created our volume. Keep adding hairspray to it, play with your fingers, bring out those curls. I didn't want this ponytail to be super curly and I love how it looks with the ends straight. We're gonna wrap the ponytail around with her own hair. What I'm gonna do is just from the bottom of the ponytail I'm going to grab almost like a one inch section. I'm gonna make sure it's brushed out. This piece needs to look very smooth. In order to do that I'm taking my hard lock hairspray. Give it a quick spray. You don't want to see any flyaways and just kind of make it flat with your fingers as I'm doing it. What I'm gonna do is just wrap the hair around. You're gonna take your U-shaped bobby pin at the end and just with my finger, I'm gonna reposition her ponytail, give it that volume. Now that we're done with the ponytail and the back section, we're gonna work on the front. I'm gonna take the sides of her hair and we're going to just wave it the same way we waved her ponytail. Take your self control hairspray. And give it some loose waves. Make sure you guys are running the ends through the curling iron so that it looks smooth. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side now. I'm gonna twist this side section that I don't want it to be hanging inside into the ponytail. So just give it a little spray, smooth it with your hands. I'm literally just twisting it right inside of the ponytail. So the remaining ends, I'm literally going to just wrap it around. Take a bobby pin, pin the ends. Same thing with the other side. Take the ends of it and wrap it around the ponytail. Tuck it in with the bobby pin. If needed, you can give a little bit more volume to the ponytail. Now you wanna make sure the bangs look really smooth. So I'm gonna take the soft control hairspray. And you don't have to rush this step, so just take it piece by piece and take your time because the front is what everyone sees first. I'm gonna take the Gloss and Go Shine Spray from Cheetah Beauty, and this is just gonna give the hair a very fresh, glossy, and shiny look. So just at a distance, I'm gonna shake the product and spray this all over. Smells amazing. To finish it off, I actually wanted to add accessories inside of her hair. So I'm gonna add a few pearls and show you guys what it looks like. So here's our final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this ponytail hairstyle. And if you did, please leave a like below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. And we'll go right into just take two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh.
<laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I feel like I'm at work. Hurry, the next client's here. I'm hungry.